wife and I, we made a decision to get into coaching and we knew I was gonna coach high school, I was gonna go to wherever. I go to Wyoming, it didn't matter. I'm gonna be a GA, I'm gonna get my degree and we're going, we're gonna go and live our life and she's a sc elementary school teacher and I'm gonna coach uh, ball. And we know we're not gonna make a lot of money but we're gonna, we're gonna be passionate about what we're doing and we're gonna live a fulfilled life. As a coach, I have the opportunity to do what and give back to those who served me, to those coaches that a lot of people will never know their names, but it was that youth coach, it was that middle school coach, it was that high school coach that that saved me, that that you know served my heart, that that created this belief, that, that you know giving me this drive, this encouragement, or this discipline, and it was those teams that I was a part of, all those things, uh, that's, that's what shaped me and, uh, and eventually led me to the Lord. A youth football coach led me to the Lord through the FCA. And, uh, you know, I didn't get saved at a church. I got saved at an FCA event. The FCA came to me. It was like all of a sudden I, I had this perfect why I dealt with things that I went through in life because that was God preparing me to fulfill the purpose that He created me for. And so all of a sudden, all those things that had been such liabilities in my life became assets, great assets. Like the things that were the worst thing in my life when I was a kid, that's some of the greatest strengths I have to this day. And, and I, think, I think that's for everybody. Whatever you're called to do, I think that you know, you're supposed to bring that light. And, you know, my job's not to save these guys. My job's to win games, and I understand that. But I hope that I can impact their lives in a very positive way and, and bring a light for them through that process.